All right, y'all. About to start this interview. I think I want to go outside. I think I want to go outside. Probably just for a minute, though, because it's a little chilly. I'm about to interview Emma Quinones. We're about to uh, see if I even said that right. <laughs> I see your request, and I'm about to add you on right now. Hello. Hey, what's up? Nothing much, you. I'm good, I'm good. Good. So, <laughs> am I saying your name right, Emma Quinones? Yeah, that's right, yeah. Okay, okay. So, yeah. Emma, where are you from? I'm from upstate New York. Upstate New York, all right. Born and raised? Uh, yeah. I used to live in, yeah, yeah, pretty much born and raised, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So, mm -hmm. what what genre of music would you say that you do? Hip hop and hip hop and rap usually. Hip hop and rap, okay. Yeah. So that's the yeah. style that you that you go yeah. with. Um. Mm -hmm. So, who are your favorite artists? Like, who who would your top three? Recording artists of all time, be um, Lil TJ, um, uh, um, uh, fres fresco tr fresco tray, um, let's see, um, uh, I'm trying to think, um, and maybe like Post Malone. Well, okay, okay. So, yeah. so you saying if you could only listen to three people for the rest of your life, those are the three people you would pick? Yeah, mostly Lil TJ, though. I usually listen to Lil TJ. Okay, okay. Yeah, he's yeah. in New York, too, right? Yeah, yeah, from the Bronx, yeah. 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 Yeah, so mm -hmm. how long have you been doing music? Um, it's been like a couple of years, probably like, um, maybe like three years, maybe five, maybe. Oh, okay. I've been doing it a while, so I mean, you know, yeah. Okay, how old are you? I'm nineteen. Nineteen. So you've been doing it since. Since I was like. Like fifteen. Yeah, probably. Yeah, fifteen. Yeah. Okay. 15. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, if you could work with any artist, uh, if you could, if you could be on a song with two other artists, who would they be? <laughs> Lil TJ and um and Fresco Trey. Well, okay. Yeah, okay. I'd probably do a song with Fresco. You know, Fresco Trey. So I'd probably do a song with him. Maybe. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, so do you have any projects you plan on coming out with this year? I know the year just started. Yeah, hopefully, you know, I'm I'm trying to um do a song with Fresco Trey for, and like hopefully um do a feature with him and make a song with him um, soon, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that'd be dope. Yeah. So who uh have you done features already? Yeah, I done with Wes Crave, um, some you might not know, but Wes Crave, Slim Spitter, uh, Wani Baby, um, Sabin, and my friend Lil Haley Joe. I did, we did um, three, two, three, we did a song called Game, which is me, uh, me, Sabin, and my friend Lil Haley Joe. We all did a song together. So I've been I've been doing like a, a lot of couple features with couple songs with a couple of people that I've been you know okay yeah releasing yeah so what mm -hmm. what in, what influenced you to get into music Uh, I don't know I, I just I just like listen to other like listen to other people's music and um I like 
you know, I like, um, I don't I just wanted to get into it because I, I just wanted to, you know, work, I don't know, like, I don't know, it's just, it, it's inspiring to me, like, I like music a lot. Yeah, it makes you feel good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it makes me feel good, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So where do you see yourself going with this music in the next five years? Um, well, hopefully I get to have more, like, get more fans. Hopefully, like, um, maybe go on tour and, um, like, perform, perform more for perform and, um, keep, keep, um, working, you know, on my music and stuff, like, getting better and stuff. So, you know, working. Yeah. Yeah. So have you done any shows before? Um, I perform for um a, a showcase show. It, uh, it's called Coast to Coast Live that on Instagram, and um, like you get to compete for like fifty thousand in prizes. But I didn't, I didn't like, I didn't. There's like first, second, third, fourth, and fifth place, but I didn't like, I didn't get any place. But I performed there. Um, that's pretty much my only sh- showcase show I ever perform. Uh, I never like perform like a lot, so. Like, I, that's my only one I perform pretty much. So, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. so do you enjoy performing? Yeah. I hope I can perform more to more of my music. Yeah. 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 So, so do you write all your own music? Um, sometimes someone writes it for me, but, um, like, the, like the recent song, uh, like, um, I wrote it like the, the recent song "Get in the Racks." That's the only one I wrote. Um, like usually, someone writes it for me and then I sing it. But um, but usually, I'm like I'll probably start writing my own music. You know. Okay. Probably. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's dope. I think I I think I actually heard that one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. All right. I think- my most favorite song right out that I have right now. You said that's your favorite one. Yeah, that I ha- yeah my favorite song right now that I have out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so so if anybody wanted to reach out to you to come do a show or do a feature, how could they contact you? Um, they can contact me through um uh through you know Instagram um. Uh, Instagram, usually Instagram, maybe you know, like uh, Instagram, yeah, Instagram is the best, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All right, yeah. well, you said you haven't been on tour yet. No, I, I, I'm trying to, yeah, get on tour. Um, yeah, probably, I'm trying, to, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, if you had any advice to give to any other young artists uh, that are doing about the same thing that you're doing, what would that advice be? Um, just keep um keep working and um just be consistent and um just like <laughs> um just being consistent and um. And um, oh, sorry, and just keep making music and and don't give up and stuff. Okay, okay. So, I got one more question. Have Have you done any other interviews before? Uh, no, I, this is my only interview. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. Well, use this one to you know see how yeah. you like it or whatever, and then. You get more yeah. comfortable in front of the camera. Have you done any music videos? Um, yeah, I have. I actually did like one music video for one of my songs. It's Heartless, featuring Wani Baby. The one, um, that's the only music video I mean. But I hope, hopefully, that can make a music video with my with Fresco Trey when I um collab with him. When did the uh, Heartless video come out? Um. 
20, I think 2021 or 2022. It's like, okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, it was nice talking to you. Um, right. For everybody watching this interview, you'll be able to look at this interview on YouTube and you'll also mm -hmm. be able to read about it on SayViral.com. That's SayViral.com. And thank you, right. Emma. Yeah, I thank will you. Talk to you later. Hey. All right, talk to you later. Bye. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Peace. So what's good, y'all? That was an interview with Emma Quinones. She is a hip hop artist. I also heard a little R and B in there. I ain't gonna lie, I heard a little R and B in that uh in the in the song, in the songs that she got. Um like I said a minute ago. This will be up on YouTube, and it'll also um, be available on SayViral.com. I am your host, DJ Marv Go Hard. If any of you out there need interviews, interested in interviews or articles, hit me up. Peace.